Hey guys, look at down there. Let's check out this video call. It's a um, it's another epic history TV series, man. Okay, it's a new uh, series that um, I'm gonna start right now. Okay, it's called History of Russia. Okay, History of Russia. I I don't know much about Russia. Um, I um. I, I think I know a little bit, but not too much, okay? But um, let's just start this new series. This series is kind of old, like eight, seven years old. But uh, let's just get into this, okay? History of Russia, part one. Um, these videos are very sh uh, short until the last second one, which is 47 minutes. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know what to say about that. But uh, let's just watch part one. It's only eight minutes long. Um, I have a lot of videos to react to, a lot of them. It's almost like a punishment for me, you know, but let's just uh, get on with this and, um, you know, I have other things to do as well. So let's just do it. History of Russia, part one. Um, let's find out what Russia is all about. Um, all I know about Russia is Putin. <laughs> That's all I know, okay? Because they keep saying, you know, Donald Trump is a Russian asset or something uh, nowadays. It's like, what is, like, what is this? Uh, I don't get it, okay? It's, it's kind of weird and I don't know. But if I say anything, then, oh my God, I, I'm going to be bombarded with hate comments. So I, I can't say anything. So let's just forget it. <laughs> let's just get into it, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Let's go. And um, please subscribe if you can. I'm kind of, I don't know, does it matter at this point? Like, you know, real life is so trash that I don't even know what to say, okay? <laughs> but um, let's just get into this. Okay, let me uh, see if the volume is all right. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. Epic History TV. I enable the subtitles for you guys, okay? A History of Russia, Part 1. A History of Russia. Okay. For thousands of years, the lands known today as Russia and Ukraine were inhabited by nomadic tribes and mysterious Bronze Age cultures. Hmm. The only record they left were their graves. Hmm. In the great open grasslands of the south, the steppe, they huh. buried their chieftains beneath huge mounds called kurgans. Oh. The ancient Greek historian okay. Herodotus called these people Scythians. Scythians, okay. Their lands were overrun by the same nomadic warriors who brought down the Roman the Empire. Hunts, the gods. The, the land Avars. was then settled the by Slavs. Hmm. They shared some language and culture, but okay. were divided into many different tribes. Huh. Wow, that's a lot Vikings of tribes. from Scandinavia known hmm. in the east as Varangians, rode up Russia's long rivers on daring raids and trading expeditions. Hmm. According to legend, Dang, the man. East Slavs asked a Varangian chief... We need some borders. What the hell? Anybody just keep coming and, you know, it's almost like they're playing with the nation of, um, you know, something that, they, that he mentioned. I forgot the name. Fuck! But let's go, let's go. Chief named Rurik to be their prince and unite the tribes. Hmm. He accepted and made his capital at Novgorod. Hmm. His dynasty, the Rurikids, would rule Russia for 700 years. Okay. His people called themselves the Rus, the Rus. and gave their name to the land. Oh. Rurik's successor, Oleg, captured hmm. Kiev, Kiev, making it the capital of a new state, Kievan oh. Rus. Yeah. A century later, Kievan Seeking Bruce. closer ties with the Byzantine Empire to the south, oh. Vladimir the Great adopted their religion and huh. converted to Orthodox Christianity. Christianity. He is still venerated today as the man who brought Christianity to Ukraine and Russia. Russia. Okay. Yaroslav the Wise codified laws and conquered new lands. Dang. His reign marked the golden age of Kievan Rus. Rus. Okay. It was amongst the most sophisticated and powerful states in Europe. In Europe. But after wow. Yaroslav's death, his sons fought amongst themselves. Huh. Kiev and Rus disintegrated into a patchwork of feuding princedoms. Huh. Just as a deadly new threat emerged from the east. Hmm. The Mongols under Genghis Khan had overrun much of Asia. Wow. Now they launched a great raid Shit. across the Caucasus mountains and Fuck. defeated the Kievan princes. I can't believe back in the day we were able to, 
you know, traverse through, through land throughout the whole planet Earth so easily. I mean, it probably took a lot of months to get from one place to another. But I can't believe we were able to cover so much land and engage in invasions and all that shit. That's, that's kind of crazy, bro. Like, how did they manage to get from there to here? And it probably took a lot of time, but to, to travel that far and still able to get into like wars and battles and shit that's too much man human don't underestimate human potential okay that motherfucker will <laughs> take over the whole world if he could holy shit <laughs> is at the battle of the kalka river hmm. but then withdrew dang okay 14 years later the mongols returned the mongols a gigantic army led by batu khan overran oh. the land Oh my Cities god, the Mongols are taking over the whole world right now. They're taking over big, big areas like this. Holy shit. Sisters were burnt, their huh. people slaughtered. Oh my god. The city of Novgorod was spared because it submitted to the Mongols. Oh. Its prince, oh my Alexander god. Nevsky, then saved the city again, defeating the Teutonic Knights at the Battle of the Ice. Oh fought god. Fought a frozen lake. Huh. He remains one of Russia's most revered heroes. Oh, dang. The Mongols ruled that the land as conquerors. Their new empire was called the Golden Horde. The Golden ruled Horde. Ruled by a Khan from What a great name, the Golden Horde. Holy shit. That's, that's too badass. It's, it's too special. Oh my god. His new capital at Sarai. Huh. The Rus princes were his vassals. Huh. They were forced to pay tribute or suffer devastating reprisal raids. Hmm. They called their oppressors Tatars. Huh. They lived under the Tatar yoke. Okay. Alexander Dang. Nevsky's son, Daniel, Daniel, founded the Grand Principality of Moscow, Moscow, which quickly grew in power. Dang. Under the great Uzbek That's how Moscow Khan, came to the existence? Tatars converted to Islam. Hmm. A rising power, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, huh. defeated the Tatars at the Battle of Blue Waters Blue and Waters. conquered Kiev. Oh. Eighteen years later, Dmitry Donskoy, Grand huh. Prince of Moscow, okay. also defeated the Tatars okay. at the Great Battle of Kulikova Field. Dang! Oh man, that's so huh. much rich history of blood, mayhem war crazy shit you know and and there have always been bodies lying in these vast plains where the battles took place you know it's uh, i wonder who cleaned that shit up every time because these uh, these places are infamous for battles and wars and shit you know so it's insane man <laughs> really. after years of infighting the Golden Horde now began to disintegrate oh. into rival Khanates. Oh my god. Constantinople, capital and last outpost of the once great Byzantine Empire, mm. fell to the Turkish Ottoman Empire. Oh! Some hailed Dang. Moscow as the Third Rome, the seat huh. of Orthodox Christian faith. Now mm. Rome and Constantinople had fallen. Okay. Meanwhile, the Grand Princes of Moscow continued to expand their power, annexing Novgorod and forging the first Russian state. Huh. At the Ugra Dang. River, Ivan III of Moscow faced down the Tatar army and forced huh. it to retreat. Oh. Russia had finally cast off the Tatar yoke. Oh, man. Under Grand Prince Vasily the And these names are a bit complicated. I'm kind of not able to understand some of these things. But um, let's... Let, I mean, I'm able to understand the whole picture though. So don't worry. Okay? Third, Moscow continued to grow in size and power. Hmm. His son, Ivan IV, was hmm. crowned the first Tsar of Russia. Ivan IV, he would the be Terrible. Remembered as Ivan the Terrible. Ivan the Terrible, I heard that name. Ivan conquered Tatar lands in Kazan and Astrakhan, hmm. but was defeated in the Livonian War by Sweden and the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Oh! Dang. Ivan's modernizing reforms gave way to a reign of terror and mass executions oh fueled God. by his violent paranoia. Violent paranoia? What the Russia hell? Russia was still vulnerable. 
Raiders from the oh, Crimean man. Khanate were able to burn Moscow itself. Man, I, I feel like there's no human value back in the day. There was no value to human beings and their lives. You know, I, I guess it's because now we're so developed that we care too much about... We're very sensitive, I guess. And we should care about human life, but back then it's like, go jump off a cliff, I don't care type of thing. <laughs> you know, That's how the uh, behavior goes. And mass executions, uh, invasions, and then raping um, the women and, and selling or, you know, slaving the children or whatever. It's, it's weird, man. I don't know how... Uh, it's too harsh. Life is harsh, but people were even more harsh. It's just, it's almost like they were hurt um, in their feelings because of how hard life is or whatever. I don't know. It, but, but it's definitely like super harsh. The people used to be like really horrible to each other. That's insane, man. Next year, Russian forces routed the Tatars at Molody, just mm. south of the city. Okay. Cossacks now lived on the open steppe a lawless region between three warring states. Huh. They were skilled horsemen who lived freely and were often recruited by Russia and Poland to fight as mercenaries. Hmm. Okay. Ivan the Terrible's own son, the Tsarevich, fell victim to one oh. of his father's violent rages. Re bludgeoned what? to death with the royal scepter. What the hell? What? The you, you're... Uh so mentally fucked that you're gonna kill your own son what the hell Ivan the and, and they call him Ivan the terrible he must be a terrible person right and that's why they named him Ivan the terrible but then he would get angry and you know he might even kill off half the nation because just because they called him Ivan the terrible who gave the name Ivan the terrible did he like give himself that name and still acted like a terrible person. I don't know, man. This is crazy. How you kill your own son with and bludgeon him to... How can you... Like, come on, man. You know? Cossack adventurer Yermak Timofeyevich led the Russian conquest of Siberia, defeating Tatars and subjugating indigenous tribes. Huh. In the north, Arkhangelsk was founded. For the oh. time being, Russia's only seaport linking it to Western Europe. Dang. Though it was icebound in winter. Hmm. Ivan the Terrible was succeeded by his son, Fyodor I, oh. who died childless. And he, he came in after Ivan the Terrible. <laughs> what is he gonna... You, he has to set expectations, like, so insane or so low or whatever, because Ivan the Terrible is insane. I don't know what he did. Maybe he, he, he can't continue what Ivan the Terrible did, you know. So he probably went a different direction and probably upset maybe. I don't know. Maybe upset some people or, you know, maybe a lot of people were wanting him to be better than Ivan the Terrible. I don't know, man. <laughs> Dang. It was the end of the Rurikid dynasty. Oh, okay. Fyodor. Ivan's advisor, Boris Godunov, became Tsar. Hmm. But after his sudden death, his widow and teenage son were brutally murdered. Oh, shit! And the throne seized by an imposter claiming to be Ivan the Terrible's son. Oh, my he too God. He was soon murdered. <laughs> if you're gonna put yourself in such an important position, even if you're Ivan the Terrible's son, you, you, you're gonna have some problems and you might even get killed. And look at that guy. That guy died and instantly his, uh, you know, wife and son were murdered. Holy shit, that's insane. Russia slid into anarchy, the so-called time of troubles. Rebels huh. and foreign armies oh laid waste God. to the land. Looks like the hell to me. Was decimated by famine and plague. Oh my Polish plague. troops occupied Moscow. Swedish troops seized Novgorod. Hmm. Can, can, can somebody tell me what plague was that? I would love to know what plague that is because um, I reacted to like Byzantine Empire or something previously and it ended and I was really like, I felt really bad. But um, there was this plague that fucking 
like it was horrific and and really te- it scared me like people there there was bodies everywhere holy shit man i uh, it, apparently it's like a black plague or something like that i don't know what that plague was i think it was like a black plague something dark and it's some plague okay but i would like to know what this plague is you know just because because uh, and and how did it devastate you know it, it looks like uh, the plagues are a common thing back in the day because they just keep coming up because you know standard of living or whatever was horrible i guess i don't get it i don't know where these plagues come from is it the bad you know bad standard of living or whatever i don't know let's go <laughs> the russian state seemed on the verge of extinction hmm jeez to be continued oh my god yeah that was that lo- literally looked like hell to me it was all fire and red and hellish like if you liked this video why not visit epic history tv's okay. patreon page to find yeah, out how you can on help patreon. us to make more great history check videos out. you might even get some benefits on this patreon channel even if there aren't it doesn't matter you need to subscribe uh, you need to pay him on patreon because this content nobody makes this and uh, apparently used to work for um, history channel or something which is fucking mind blowing okay so go pay him on uh, patreon and um, um this video came out recently called kolchak enemy number 1 kolchak or something uh, and it was based on uh, russia and all that russian supreme leader or something so i i wanted to react to that series but i don't know anything about russia that much um i know some things like the the way they live or the way they speak and stuff like that the russians and the way you know this uh, comparing donald trump to russia or whatever that's another thing and you know putin is like the most memed uh, you know uh, politician out there on the internet you know so i that's all i know about russia and some some um, words uh, kind of match um, um, our language i'm indian right so it's kind of like some of the words are similar and it's it's kind of like um, like hinduism we're hindus so it's kind of like hinduism is also a little bit spread out in there i could be wrong you know i might be imagining things but i've seen some similarities you know but i could be wrong okay but uh, yeah i wanted to react to that but i didn't know anything about russia so i'm here reacting to this but don't worry i'll get around to reacting to these as well okay so if you like this reaction please subscribe i'm definitely going to make um, more videos on epic history tv this this whole series i'm definitely going to react um it might take a while to get around to reacting to those videos but i'll definitely we do it don't worry okay so yeah that's it for this reaction history of russia part 1 i wanted to react to another part but we're almost 20 minutes long reaction and i don't want to stretch this video out okay so yeah that's it for this reaction please subscribe to this channel show me support and um, if you have any videos that you want me to react to please suggest me type down in the comment section uh, I'll note it down and react to it. Okay, so yeah, that's it for this reaction. Please subscribe, show me support. I uh, this is my main channel. This is where I upload like once a week. But don't worry, I upload like five, six videos at once, so that you'll be covered for the rest of the week. If you like that, please subscribe. Go check out my backup channel. Uh, all the Napoleon stuff is over there. So go check it out. That channel is fucking dead, but there's a lot of videos there, and you will be thoroughly entertained. So go check it out. Show me support, and I'll see you guys. later in another video okay see you guys later goodbye <laughs>